This week, the FIA removes the Moscow Stock Exchange's membership, David Halson will become the SIBO's next president, and nickel trading is suspended. This is Alex Perry with John Lothian News, and this is your recap of Options News from the Week. Here are some of the week's top stories, starting with the FIA. Now, the Moscow Stock Exchange, or MOEX's FIA membership, is null and void after the Futures Industry Association removed the MOEX from its membership list. The events surrounding Russia's invasion of Ukraine prompted the FIA Board of Directors to take a vote and remove the MOEX. Now, a few days earlier, the SIBO had, quote, halted trading on shares and options in the Banek Russia ETF, which is worth hundreds of millions of dollars. FIA states that the MOEX's membership removal is effective immediately. Consumer global franchises McDonald's, Starbucks, and Coca-Cola have also cut ties with the country. Changes of another stripe are occurring at the SIBO, which announced that it has a new president. The exchange promoted to President David Housen, current executive vice president. In the role, Housen will oversee operations including equities, derivatives, and SIBO Options Institute, to name a few. Housen first joined the exchange in 2017 and has over two decades of experience in the industry. He is set to start his new role as president on May 12, 2022. The CME Group had a strong start to the week when its first day of trading, the new 20-year U.S. Treasury bond futures reached a volume of more than 1,300 contracts. The exchange also had open interest of 1,041 contracts at the end of the day. The 20-year Treasury bond futures were available for trading on Monday, March 7th. Regulators are conducting an insider trading investigation on options trades following the Microsoft Activision merger. Entertainment business giants Barry Diller and David Geffen were two of three men to yield big profits, as much as $60 million on the options trade, according to the Wall Street Journal. The WSJ also reports that the men bought options contracts to purchase shares at Activision only days before the Microsoft Activision merger was announced. In response to the speculations, Barry Diller said that it was, quote, simply a lucky bet. The nickel market has shown lots of volatility as the London Metal Exchange suspended trading on nickel contracts. Nickel prices had soared at one point trading above $100,000 per ton, which Business Insider explained is the largest move ever on the exchange. Now, this could be problematic for the electric vehicle industry, given that nickel is used in electric vehicle batteries. Bloomberg says that the metals price surge occurred when investors and industrial users who had sold the metal scrambled to buy the contracts back after prices initially rallied on concerns about supplies from Russia. That's all for now, but be sure to tune into this week's edition of John's Take. Also, be sure to check out our Options Term of the Week presented by Euronext. We'll be in Boga next week for the FIA's International Futures Industry Conference, and the spread will resume the week after. To those attending, we'll see you in Boga. This has been Alex Perry for JLN. Thanks, and we'll see you next time.